Okay guys, I lifted the edges. Holy shit. See how these are like beige? They used to have a very thin veneer wood tone on them. But as time went on, they peeled more and more. That was the first one to notice that broke. This shows the extent of the damage to the door. Okay, we're gonna be working on that bad boy, huh? So we got down here. I already peeled this. So unless there's something behind the molding, we're looking good there. Nothing oozing out of what he welded it. Definitely inherent that this is flimsy. On these. How far is it sticking out, guys? Okay, we're sticking way out. Okay, the quarter is welded on crooked. So the corner of this quarter, you can't see it, is not even with the rocker. And the door is sticking out to match it. The door is sticking out the thickness of the door. The other side, this isn't welded on as bad, so that's why you notice the door. That's why this cap looks so much better. Damn, there's one way of cheating it. Uh, the door is out. Almost the thickness of a door. Yeah. And same. It's a little tighter right here. So. Get the Bondo glass out, guys. We'll get it there fixed in 20 minutes. <laughs> so, I, I know what the inside's gonna look like. I'm gonna have to look. This is 10 times worse than the other side. <laughs> Ain't that a kick in the ass? You can see there's pinholes, but this isn't rotted. The base of the circle, like the other one was. With all the section gone. Hmm. Okay. We're still replacing it. But I'm just saying, it's not as bad. From what I could see. Who knows what the inside looks like? So I'm going to find out. That's amazing. So, what's next? I think what's next is this driver's side door is just low front and rear. This back door is high front and low in the back. I think what's next is to line the doors. I think I'm actually going to start with the back door. And uh, then we'll work on the front door. I don't think it matters either way. We're getting there, guys. We're definitely getting there. I got a gap here now. Here's the deal. The door's in a little here and out a little here. The door has to roll. I just still don't have that torque spit to roll the door after I roll because it's kind of like flush where the striker is. It's kind of I can readjust the striker. Uh, but the door definitely moved. Now the gap is tighter here than down here. And if you look, this door is lower than that door. The way I lined up the lines is I just went. Straight across, it's hard for me to do it and hold it. But the line follows straight across to show you the difference. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's down like a quarter of an inch. Besides what you see there, 
and what I see here. So, uh, I haven't looked at the bottom of the door gap, but I'm sure it's tight. Yeah. So this door here has to come up a tad in the front. Okay. And a lot in the back. And that'll definitely tighten up the gap on the bottom. Loosen up the gap on the thing. So the door has to go up and then like this. I don't think that's from any bad hinges. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay guys, here's my first attempt of lining the doors up this way, not rolling them at all. Okay, so I haven't literally lifted this door too much in the front. Front is almost dead on. It's just down just a hair. Don't go by the pinstriping. I don't think this door is ever lined up. Can't fine tune the striker or any of that yet. But uh, that's in line. So uh, the final tuning on this is when I do the other two hinges on the door itself. But um, yeah, it looks like to take these pins out, I don't know if I can do it. Yeah, it doesn't look like the pins are going to clear. Only the bottom one will clear up through the top. So I'm using these hinges, these pins will have to be put in through the bottom. On this side they're put in through the top, that side they put on the bottom because it's the same hinges upside down. So, but that's a nice start right there. Okay, that's a nice gap. Not quite 3 16 a hair bit less. That's a hair bit more. And the back varies depending on where you go down the line. But um, the back from here to here is 3 16 that's a tad bit more than that I can't even attempt to measure plus that has to be pulled in there's a hair bit more that's probably a sixteenth more which I think is what we landed on the other side I think the other side we landed a little bigger, a little bigger a little bigger if I remember right oh this one was close to being on so uh, possibly the door could slide back a hair bit more I am liking that gap I don't like the way the door is fitting on the car it has to be rolled um, but it was better than the bed, right? This isn't too bad. They weren't equal on the other side either. Uh, yeah. So that's better than when we started. For sure. In a perfect place to take a break. It sucks adjusting those hinges up to the wheel. Um, that sucks even more just on the other side in the garage here. Yeah. Well, the door opens all the way uh, because it's a four door. So, I don't want to fine tune everything just now. Um, but I will. I will. Yes, yeah, so when I want to get as close as I can, uh, I don't want to close up this gap though. So, uh, Unique to say the least. 1970s, here we are. Well, the 60s were the same way. The 80s were worse. Now everybody's just used to a modern day car where everything is stamped out. Exact. These aren't the days of rolling marbles through them, I can tell you that, through the gaps. So, this was almost overlapping. So, my eye, like I said, it's hard to tell it's two different colors, but my eye is a lot more pleasing than what we had so when we fine tune this I might push it back just a tad bit more but it's very close to 3 16 now so um yeah so maybe we'll get Junior out here to sand some of this off now let me get this I'll get this molding off I'll pop these off these are not staying we're done there's no way I'm asking around those and uh, I've already been warned about good luck getting them back on, so I'm not destroying a paint job over those.